Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been long awaited. Finally, Chanel released the Le Beige collection here in Canada. So I have items here and we're gonna go ahead and play with them and talk about them. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So the first item that I picked up is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in Warm. as well as the Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade Sunset. And last but not least, the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in the shade Sunkissed. Now, these all came in this beautiful packaging here, the traditional Le Beige packaging. And something to note, the bronzer has this little detailing at the bottom of the box, which just feels so extra and wonderful. And I was also able to get a couple samples. I have a sample here of the Hydra Beauty Camellia Water Cream. I love this. Plus the new Camellia Hydra Beauty Repair Mask. I am super intrigued by this. I came very close to just buying it outright, but I thought I might as well give the sample a try before buying it. So I thought for today I could play with the makeup, do a tutorial, and then maybe do some swatch comparisons side by side with items that are similar to these here. Now I know some of you in other parts of the world have probably had the Le Beige collection for months now. I'm sure you've seen other videos and tutorials, but I simply did not have access to this collection. So that's why I didn't do my video sooner because I literally could not. So let's go ahead and dive into the warm eyeshadow palette right here. I have a V9 shadow palette that I can go ahead and compare it to afterwards. I didn't pick up any of the other Le Beige eyeshadow palettes, but the cool toned one actually looks quite interesting to me and I might get that one later. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by going into the top shade in the palette really lightly, just as a soft transition shade. I do have to say that the texture of these feels really nice. I feel like I've often hesitated in getting the other palettes from the Le Beige collection because sometimes the texture and the formula doesn't feel that impressive. So that light shade on its own doesn't really show up that much on my skin tone. It's more of a transition shade, which is exactly what I was using it for anyway. So now I'm gonna go into this lovely peach shade here and I'm gonna put this on the mobile lid. There were also two nail polishes available with this collection here. There's a really lovely red and a nice orange color. I didn't pick those up yet because they are not limited edition. They're just part of the permanent collection. So I thought I would wait, you know. If I were to get one, I probably would get the orange color. And now I'm gonna go into the nice brown color here. The texture of this one feels really interesting. It feels almost like a creamy powder finish. It's really soft when you um, swatch it, it's really nice. So just taking that brown color and putting it on the outside corner here. So there is fallout with the brown shade here. That's okay, we'll clean it up after. And then once the brown is placed, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep over again with this big fluffy brush, just to make sure it's nice and blended out. And then I'm gonna go into this lighter color here and just place it on the corner on the inside. Okay, now that I have a fallout everywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then continue with the makeup. So for the foundation, I'm gonna go into my Chanel Ultra Lotte foundation in the shade B30. And then for the concealer, I'm gonna go into my Clé de Peau concealer in the shade Almond. I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face really quickly with the Chanel Healthy Glow Powder in number 20. This came out a few years ago. I think it was last year or the year before. Just one of their Healthy Glow Powders. I like that depending on the shade you get, it can be a bronzer or just a face powder. And I like that it doesn't really like mattify. Like it takes a little bit of the shine away and it sets your makeup, but it doesn't like suck the moisture out of your face. It still looks luminous and dewy. I think this packaging was last year's collection. It just says Chanel on it. I love that like every year they just 
revamp it just a little bit and it makes us want to get a new compact even if we have a million at home. Okay, time for the bronzer. So this one here, Sunset, looks so beautiful. I mean, the whole Le Beige collection is nautical themed. You know, it's being at the beach, at the beach house, on the lake, being on the water. So the whole theme I really enjoy and I love the detailing on this packaging right here. And this one here is limited edition. There were two shades to choose from. One was a lighter color, just like the one that I used earlier to set my face, but I thought I would go with a bronzer color. I think this one looks really nice. So I'm just dipping into this brush here. Oh, okay. It's a little bit darker than I expected. I can blend this out, that's okay. But it's still very natural. I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches compared side by side later. Because I wanna compare this to the cream bronzer. I think this is a really lovely, soft, golden like bronzed look it just looks like i spent the day on my yacht somewhere in the mediterranean and now my face is just sun-kissed and lovely i'm going to go ahead and use my blending brush from before and just dip into this bronzer here just to marry all the colors together I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of blush. This is my Chanel Joux Contrast in number 72, Rose Initial. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes. I'm gonna go into the last color here on the bottom, the one that's a bit more sparkly. I'm gonna go in with a taper brush and put it on the inner corner here. And then to top that off, the Volume de Chanel Mascara. Okay, so now let's go ahead and top it off with this lovely fluid highlighter. This one again is called sun kissed and this is exactly what i am hoping for so the way that i apply a liquid highlighter is i put some on the back of my hand and then afterwards i sweep through with my brush and then gently apply it i think this is probably the most effective way i'm sure on instagram people will like drop it directly on their faces but i don't think that's real life it looks like liquid gold <laughs> it looks so pretty so just taking a bit on the brush here and just wiping the excess off just going in, wow. At first I was worried that maybe this would be too dark, but I think it looks gorgeous. Wow, this is a beautiful highlighter. Oh my goodness, it gives me golden J.Lo vibes, you know, like that golden goddess. She's here, she has arrived, and she has her highlighter on. Now, there were two liquid highlighter shades to choose from. One was more of a lighter pearlescent shade, but I got the darker one because I picked up the Le Blanc highlighter in the spring, and I just thought that the lighter color might be too similar, so. And from what I can see on the website, this liquid highlighter is here to stay. It's not limited edition. It's not gonna be discontinued. And the same goes for the lighter highlighter as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on the Rouge Coco Flash number 82, Live or Live, just for a bit of lip color. Okay, so this entire look together looks quite stunning. It looks natural and soft, but you know that I'm wearing makeup. Like my eye look, you can tell that I'm wearing makeup, but it looks really soft and natural and subtle as well. This entire ensemble together, I think all of these pieces work so well together. So let's go ahead and talk about them individually. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette here. I think this is one of those palettes that when you first look at it, it looks kind of basic. But as you can see, you can create something really natural and pretty. I do have to say that the formula of these shadows is interesting. I feel like the peachy colors sort of just faded away. Like I put a bunch of those colors on the mobile lid here and they've kind of just evaporated. I don't really know what happened. At least the darker color and this sparkly color has stayed in place, but I definitely packed a bunch of color here that kind of just evaporated really quickly. So I don't know, I mean, the colors are nice. I like the look that I have. Like, I think this is really cute and subtle and natural. 
but I don't think it's better than the nine shadow palette that came out last year. I think maybe if you wet your eyeshadow brush with some Fix Plus or some setting spray, perhaps you could get more color payoff with these colors here. This to me is a very natural eyeshadow look. So I guess the nine shadow pan from last summer has a lot more browns and darker colors like this. It doesn't have as many peachy or warm tone, like lighter shimmer colors. I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches side by side just so you guys can see how both palettes compare. So for the nine shadow palette, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one trio at a time in a cluster like that. So as I'm swatching these palettes side by side, at first I thought they would have a lot more overlap in the shades, but they do look quite different actually. I think this year's palette definitely offers a lot more lighter colors, a lot more shimmery colors too. And now onto the bronzer. So this one here is totally a hit. It's a 10 out of 10. It's just a really beautiful bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch right now compared to the cream bronzer. Because when you compare them side by side, the colors actually look quite similar, which is interesting. I would say that the powder is slightly more warm toned. I think the cream is a little bit more cool. And also I think the cream is a little bit more subtle, a bit lighter. And as you can see, the powder has this really nice satiny finish. Again, it's not like a glitter chunk or anything like that. It's just a soft velvet satiny finish. It's not a flat matte. And I think that just helps give you that like sun-kissed glow. And then I also have a Le Beige Healthy Glow Compact number 50. So this is a bronzing shade for me. And as you can see, they look different. Again, I think that this new bronzer here has almost like a gold reflection in it compared to my other bronzer. Both of them work great for me as bronzers. I just think it's interesting what a difference there is in both of these formulas. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and compare these liquid highlighters. So I have here the Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops compared to the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkissed. Okay, so as you can see, these are completely different. I mean, it's like night and day. I look like I have Neapolitan ice cream on the back of my hand here. So the rosy light drops are definitely more cool toned. And then this sun-kissed highlighter is just that. It's that beautiful golden sun-kissed glow. Now I know that Chanel had liquid highlighter drops beforehand that were discontinued. I don't have those unfortunately, so I can't compare, but I can go ahead and tell you that this is a beautiful highlighter. I think it's wonderful. So overall, these are my thoughts on the collection here. For me, the bronzer and the liquid highlighter are a win, 10 out of 10. The eyeshadow, I think, could be improved. I just think that it's a shame that those peachy colors decided to disappear after a few minutes. I think it could be better. But that is it for today's video. These are my first impressions, first thoughts on this collection here. If you guys are new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty and I do a lot of tutorials. So I will definitely create more looks with these items here. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix them with previous collections, different brands. So you should definitely stick around and subscribe if you want more inspiration and tutorials on these products here. Please let me know what you think of today's video down below. Let me know if you picked up the Le Beige collection and if you did, which items did you get? And also, if you happen to get this eyeshadow palette here, please let me know your thoughts on it because I'm still quite conflicted. I think this about does it for today's video. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.